Um, prayers, good mo good mojo, all that, like, to the people, to the, um, workers and stuff on the Key Francis Scott Key Bridge. Prayers, good mojo, good juju, all that stuff. Like, I woke up this morning, my phone was blowing up. Um, uh, it was all over the news, uh, all over Facebook, everything, and... What a tragedy. Ago, the key bridge collapsed. And this is the bridge that connects Baltimore County and Anne Arundel County. And this is truly unbelievable. I, I am completely at a loss of words. It's tragic. There was people on the bridge when it collapsed. That boat was headed southbound out of Baltimore Harbor and it hit one of the spans and the bridge just collapsed like a house of cards. It's truly, truly shocking. I, I have no words. This is an awful tragedy that is going to affect everybody in the area and global shipping. I'm not with any news, this or that or the other. This is just literally in my backyard. I see this bridge every day. I drove over it last night and I was supposed to drive over it again this morning. This is literally right in our backyard. I mean, five miles from the house. Thank you to the Coast Guard, DNR, and all the law enforcement that's out here. Uh, putting in search and rescue efforts and the divers that are out here in this 40 degree water searching for the cars and searching for the people that went down with the bridge good opportunity for everybody to set their differences aside and come together and, and get through this whole tragedy together because this affects everybody no matter who you are or what you think just keep your thoughts and prayers with all the families of the people that were on the bridge when it collapsed keep you updated it's just so crazy. Like we have been, we just was recently over that bridge. We went somewhere and we went over the bridge. So prayers and all that out to the families, to the emergency crews and emergency workers who are putting their lives on the line to save these, like to do a recovery mission, just all the prayers and all the good juju to everybody involved and my heart goes out and it's the the bridge is gone now like and it's it's crazy it's so crazy so i don't know if they've done the press conference yet or if the press the last before i came downstairs um i was watching a live stream um they were setting up for the um, press conference so Oh, such a tragedy, man. Oh, such a tragedy. So sad, so sad. So, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so mad. Oh, good morning, guys. The babies are eating their breakfast. The fur babies. So how y'all doing? My legs are so, my knees are very, very sore from yesterday. So I'm like, I'm gonna make my coffee. I'm gonna sit down for a little bit. The vlog is already uploading. I actually, I actually did pretty good. I think I went to bed like around two something. I fell asleep. Well, I laid down at like Probably went upstairs at two. I had to make sure my vlog was finished. Edit. I, I finished editing my vlog. Because I don't want to get too, too crazy with it. So I finished editing my vlog. I um, was watching Breezy's live stream. And then all of a sudden I just felt myself dozing off. And next thing I know I woke up this morning. <laughs> So, I was like, oops. But, luckily, I, because when I started feeling myself go to sleep, I actually started downloading the vlog to upload it this morning. 
And I'm glad I did because I damn sure did fall right to sleep. I did have an alarm set because I didn't want to sleep too long, but I got up like about an hour before my alarm went off. Because I'm not trying to get all wild with um, I'm not trying to get all wild with um, what you call I just love how much nicer my counter and stuff looks now. I love it. I still can't believe this shit wasn't magnetic though. Ugh. All right, my plan for today is bring up the last load of laundry. And then, ugh. And then I don't know. I'll bite, I'll get dressed. Yes, I got treats. Oh my god, Nixie just parked up. Nixie said she is so silly. She just jumped down. Let me put get my creamer and my coffee before it gets too cold and it doesn't like dissolve properly mm. but yeah she definitely said you don't know anything about this this situation what situation is that Shanta? don't you mean like this marriage oh i got it in the trash can all right let's see yeah that's too much mocha You don't know anything about this situation. Callie. She is just helping herself. Okay, come on. Here. Door, 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 door. No, treats. Oh, no, you know I need to be in Babies, do you want some treats? Do you want some treats? Hey, babies. Okay. Don't, I, don't. I hear you. Ray, I thought she said you weren't going to get them any more treats. Just. I didn't get them. Wifey grabbed them when we went shopping. She says, oh, I noticed we were out of treats. And she grabbed one and put it in the cart. I didn't even, I, I didn't even get them. I didn't do it. You can't, were you shopping with me? Do you know, prove it. <laughs> Say, prove it, prove it. Say, prove it, door, door, prove it. Prove it. Oh my God, you scared everybody. Who, me? Did you just see how Nixie threw herself up against me when you walked in looking like a big bear? In his big floofy robe. Jesus. What? No, the cats. I need a robe. Ouch. Good catch. Nice. Nothing. Okay. Nixie woke me up at like 4.15. Yeah, she woke me up this morning too. Well, shit. Okay. She, she's crawling on my chair. Then when I open my eyes, she's just staring at me. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. I... Well, I don't, Brayden, I can't recycle that. Put it in trash. Because, of course, styrofoam's not recyclable, and they don't do plastic wrappings or, like, plastic bags and stuff. Oh, but they do, like, plastic bottles. Bottles and... Bottles Yeah. Yeah. And they want, like, glass stuff rinsed out, so that's why I have to rinse everything out now. 
which I think it might have always been like that, but I just never paid attention. So. I'll see y'all at the bed. Okay, I just, I was just playing Beat Saber. I've been playing for the last, let me check. I just want you to see the sweat. Like, look how wet, I don't know how wet you can see my hair, the back of my neck. I am sweating. My legs are disgusting. 61 minutes. Do you see that? 461 total calories burned. Doing Zumba and Beat Saber. Foodie Beauty could fucking never. Did I have to leave my house? No. Did I feel like I was home? No. That is what I love about the yard. I ended up buying the Fit XR. I did three Zumba classes, one dance class, and then ended up dance, uh, doing Beat Saber. I am fucking disgusting. <laughs> I feel so gross. But I wanted to show you, like, I, literally, I still got... I still got my, oh shit, hold on. I still got my paddle on. Whew, I am thirstier than a motherfucker though. So, but I got my workout in for the day. Okay, now that I have cooled down a bit and got myself together, hubby should be coming home soon, by the way. I'll tell you about my day so far. I have vacuumed the steps. I put the first basket of laundry away, cleaned my room, cleaned up a little bit. I am not touching that fucking hallway and that dusty, crusty, musty, stank ass motherfucking bathroom upstairs. Wifey and hubby ugh, have that bathroom looking horrific. Okay. Horrific. Ain't fucking touching it. Ain't doing it. Nope. 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 So. I um I did that. I talked to my girlfriend for like two hours doing the whole catch-up thing. Her daughter doesn't have spring break until next week. So we were able to like talk and chit-chat and whatever. Brayden has fucked off and went to the neighbors, which is fine. Let him be, let him play. He needs some fresh air in his lungies and in the capacities they wanted him to play football with them I said Psh, go right ahead and bruh go you do have schoolwork to do but you will do it when you get home um so there's that and what else um I cleaned I haven't cleaned my cake corner yet um, what else did I do? I cleaned up the living room a wee bit. I got the steps done. I reorganized a few things here and there. And then I ended up playing Beat Saber or VR. I did, so I ordered Fit XR. It's like $100 for the yearly plan, which leads to like $9 a month or something like that. And um, so I just did it that way. And I did the beginner classes of Zumba with the, you know, I, I had to improvise because of my knees and my hips. My hips lie because I don't shake like that, okay? So I can't be doing all those sexy, sexy. I tried, but I ain't trying to throw my back out. And I ain't trying to bust no hip, okay? And I already need knee replacement. So I do what I could do, okay? So I did Zuma. I think I did it for like 20 or so minutes, but then I went to Beat Saber. So I did Beat Saber, then I lost track of time. And then I went to like where you go online and you play with other people. Oh my God, I was sweating. I was getting into it. Because see, that's what I do. I pick the songs I get into. Like, I have all the Linkin Park songs. So I'll be up there like, I dig it out, dig it, dig it. Just, oh, my arm's a little sore. Oh, I got a little soreness in the bat wing. Ooh. Oh, my arm's tired from flying. So I just feel good. I feel pumped. I'm by myself. Y'all probably like this bitch. I feel good. Two days in a row. And then tomorrow's a gym day. So I'll go to the gym tomorrow morning with wifey before she goes to work. So we'll get up and go to that. I'm going to get a shower. I still feel gross, but I'm going to get up and get a shower after a bit. And um, I'll get one before tonight. And uh, before I go to bed or something. So yeah. 
I, so I want to get a little snack. So what did I eat today? I had, because I'm home and in case it gave me the shit, <laughs> I had my pop tart for breakfast, my, um, the legendary carb, whatever, carb free, not carb free, but, um, I have one left, the legendary protein packed pop tart. So I had one of these for breakfast. And then for lunch, I had pepperoni and cheese. And I take the pepperoni and put it on like three or four paper towels. I think I did four paper towels. You put the pepperoni on the paper towels and then you put shredded cheese on top. And then put a little bit of oregano, a little bit of garlic powder. So fucking delicious. And then you put it in the microwave, 76 seconds. Well, especially if you have the thick pepperoni, which I had the thick pepperoni. You put it in the microwave 76 seconds you pull it apart you have like little teeny tiny pizzas and it's all crispy and it's like <laughs> at the end of it when you <laughs> when you eat it, it sound like a duck sound like i'm squeezing a duck oh so fucking delicious so i had that for lunch and now i'm gonna have my yogurt i'm gonna have my yogurt i do need the vacuum um, I just looked at the floor and I'm like, I need to vacuum, but I'm gonna have my other yogurt. Just, I need to get back into yogurts too. Mm. So what is that? Oh, bologna. Hey, no bologna around here. You telling the truth? That's no cap. No bologna. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go and eat my yogurt and see what's going on on the YouTubies. I have been off YouTube most of the morning while i was cleaning i was watching kalari why are all the cat bowls oh brayden moved the cat bowls so we changed the perimeter from the living room to the kitchen because i'd rather be in the kitchen especially during the day but you can always change the perimeter around uh, for the vr so but yeah it was fun i had a good day i feel pumped i feel good and i'm pacing i always pace like, I just, I, let me tell you, I'm surprised that this, this run of my house is not like dipped from all the pacing that I do. I, this is like my run. I was just checking on the kids, but yeah. So, all right, y'all, I'm gonna go eat my yogurt now. I promise. And I will check y'all later. All right. I've decided to embarrass myself on the interwebs by trying to do this. I don't know if I, if it needs a battery, because sometimes you know that they come with one. Oh, look at that, it comes with one. Great, as I drop everything. Okay, precision tip and shape brows. Gentle on skin, no nicks and bumps. 100% increased precision. Because I hate my brows. I don't know how to do brows. I hate plucking. I don't fuck with them. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go here in the middle. I don't feel like it's really removing anything. Like it sounds like it is, but I don't feel, oh, wait a minute. I don't know, I don't feel like it's, like it sounds like it, cause that's why I figured I'd go here. You go in circles, all right, let me see it under my eye. I don't feel like it's doing anything. It's not doing anything. Like barely, like I have to go over it numerous times. Like I'm distinctly pinpointing like one hair. I don't know. I don't notice a difference. Loki is so funny. So I'm done with my eyebrows. 
you probably can't even tell I did anything with them, but I have to go over so many times. But Loki has a thing with like clippers and like things that buzz. So of course I was using this. Can you see the little ball? What? Look. What? Mom, what are you laughing at? Yeah. Mom. Mom, what are you laughing at? Oh, Nick's not Nicky. Loki. Stop. Don't scare him. <laughs> Don't. St let him sniff it. What, what even is it? It's a razor. He's weird about... What, honey? Oh, it's okay. Here. See? Ready, look. I'm going to turn it on. Loki. No. What? What? You talking to me? What? What? I'm not going to turn it on. It's finished. All done. I thought that was lipstick. Oh, see? It's all done. It's all done. Get off my brush. Can I not brush Loki? With the cat brush. Okay, let me look at the scalpers then. Oh my god. Oh, the baby. Oh, oh, my baby boy. Hey, hi. Look at them beautiful eyes. Look at them beautiful orange eyes. Foodie could never. There you go. Let me tell you a little something about Loki. Loki doesn't always like to be pet. Loki doesn't always like to be touched. He's very skittish. Say Hims has a lot of anxiety. So I don't force myself to hold him. I will pick him up and just pet him. But when he's ready to let like go, he lets me know. I don't like and I let them go immediately. One thing I hate is a cat is any animal being held against their will unless it's for a good cause like they're getting medicine or they're at the vet or something like that then yeah it's against their will but it's for their own it's for their own good loki is very skittish you go to pat him i think i've showed it in videos he will like slink down we don't know what it is it kind of sometimes aggravates hubby um because he'll be like well, we give him a good life, what it, he doesn't have anything to be skittish for. But I'm like, it doesn't matter. It's just who he is, you know? Or he probably has PTSD from what happened. Yeah, that too. That could be another reason why he's very skittish of a lot of things. But when he's ready to go, I let him go. He's just sitting here. I'm not holding him tight. That's like when Foodie picked up Julia. Like, that wasn't cool. She does not want to be held. She doesn't want to be bothered. She's not giving the cat the attention and love that that cat needs. I have six, I have five cats. I was about to say, remember? I know. I make a mistake sometimes. What, bud? I grew up with cats. My mom used to work at a vet. Like, I used to help you're, her. You're very used the cats i am i grew up with them i even have allergies to them but they're very mild i just have to take claritin or benadryl not but not benadryl claritin or um what's the other one that i take claritin or not zantac what's the other one claritin and this loafer he will loaf anywhere he the baby boy he will loaf on the couch in your bed in your closet he in the walls. will loaf anywhere happen. Oh, he could be on the roof and he'll loaf. He's, for all he cares. He's the loafer. He's the baby. He's the cuddle one. 
He's very cuddly. He is a cuddle cat. Because, Mom, I even show you sometimes during my schoolwork, he'll just curl up at the edge Look of the recliner with me. But when they're ready to go, I let them go. I don't sit there and hold... I mean, if I'm playing, but I'm not ever hurting them and they know. Like, when I get up in the morning, it is like a stampede. When I come upstairs at night, every, I could never hide from anybody because the cats would give me away. They'd be like, Mom, what are you doing? Like, they follow me. When I can't find them, that's when I worry because I know cats like to hide when they, like, don't feel good or whatever like that. But I don't know. So... Well, considering that my thing was a bust, um, let's do, we'll do 3,001 questions. What the hell fell? <clears throat> my lotion fell. Because I feel like I haven't done my questions. We have like three books. I haven't done my shadow work book yet, but I'll have to see about that. Okay. So we are on question 1385. It is 32624. My girlfriend just sent me seven messages. Hold on, let me make sure it's nothing. My girlfriend's like, I'm sorry, girl. I just sent you a shit ton of videos between Instagram and TikTok. She's like, all these good keto snacks. I'm like, you're so funny. Okay. Question 1385. Do I make things simple or complicated? I make them complicated. For the most part. Kind of, sort of. Because my ADHD takes over and I overthink so much stuff. Things that should be like pretty easy peasy, straight to the point. Yes or no, whatever. And I make it so fucking complicated and confusing but that's like it's me processing so i definitely make things complicated unintentionally it makes sense to me but then people look at me like what what are you even talking about ray when was the last time i sang in the shower this morning no yesterday because i'm gonna get my shower later I didn't take a shower this morning. It was yesterday morning. Is there a dangerous situation I've been able to talk myself out of? Yes. My relationship when I was 18 years old. What was happening in my life when I was six years old? Fuck if I know. The hell if I know. Which makes me think, um, how in the hell does Foodie remember what happened in elementary school? There are very few things I remember in elementary school. The gym, the field day, the field time stuff I remember. Being called rope, mm, no, because that's going to um, expose me. I'm not going to say that um me breaking the mic during the desert storm concert recital and me being called mic killer um that haunted me for a long time there were certain little bits and bobs that i remember from elementary school but like i don't remember very distinct things like a few things i do but like i vaguely remember anything else I remember a kid I had a crush on named Lamont, but that was it. And then um, I remember some things from middle school. I remember some things from high school, but it's like foodie booty. She be lying. Like she makes up half that shit. I swear to God she does. What is a skill I have that surprises most people? Ooh. What is a skill that I have that surprises most people? I don't know. I mean, it can't be my decorating because people know I do that. I don't know. 
I honestly don't know. Crafting, jewelry, I don't know. The gift of gab, I, I don't know. I can't, I, I don't give myself a lot of credit for stuff, so I guess that's why. Do I take care of my skin and how do I do that? I do a better job now than I ever did. So I do now, yes. So when I take a shower, I only use Dove soaps. I use Dove body wash, Dove shampoo and conditioner, and Dove bar soap. I use the bar soap for more sensitive, like my face and um, the lady bits and stuff like that. And then I use um, Dove body wash. I use like this extra moisturizing body wash. When I get out of the shower, I use Jeffree Star's toner. Then I put on his vitamin C serum and then I use his face cream. Then that's just my face and I use a jade roller to apply every morning. Every time I take a shower, that's what I do. I cleanse my face. Then when I take my makeup off, I use, what is it, CeraVe? CeraVe, the makeup remover. And then I do have some Jeffree Star toners and stuff. And I do have his um, Espresso his um, wake the fuck up collection. But I think when my other stuff runs out, cause that's like got toners and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna rotate all that upstairs. So um, I do have that and I have like the eye stuff and everything. Um, I need to do more pure things. And I feel like I should do more masks to tighten. Like I don't know a lot about skincare to be completely honest. I just learned about toner, serums and lotion. That's all I know and I forget. And then for body lotions, I do have um, Jeffrey's, uh, that Wyoming, that shit, that body cream, it is amazing. And then I have a particular cream that I use on my feet because I have barnacles on my feet and my feet look gross right now because I haven't really been doing it. And I have a callus remover, so I really need to do my feet. I really need to do a self care day, which I might do tonight when I take my shower. I really scrub the barnacles off of my feet. So, um, so yeah, I definitely need to do that. So I do have a, some sort of a skin routine. When I was a small child, what did I think about often? What I would be like older. And it doesn't even feel like I've changed. What it would be like older. I'm just like, oh, what am I going to do? Like, I still feel like, I don't know. I'm going to eat some Sprite. These things are really not the best. But they're good. Okay. Who has my favorite smile in the whole world? My son. Do I consider myself a social person or why? Oh, I, I do when I don't. I'm weird. Because I think you can be an intro, intro, out, intro, extra. What is it? Introvert, extrovert? I feel like you can be both. Because I like to socialize with my friends online. I like to talk and everything. But sometimes it's just too much peopling in the real world. So, but... Hold okay, on. sorry. I was chewing up my, my ticky tax. Okay. I do consider myself a social person, I was saying, because like online and stuff, I love talking to the people that I know online. I love like doing stuff, knowing people are going to see. I like conversating with people in the comments. Um, but then it's like, I like to be left alone though, too. Like when I'm home, so I just, I, me and my son, like, that's it. That, that's all I really need. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, um, but then it's like, I, I miss doing vendor events. Like I used to do vendor events every weekend, sometimes Saturday and Sunday. And I like talking to people and meeting new people and conversating with them and, and exchanging information. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Like I just... 
I don't know. So, but I think I'm both because I like to be left alone. I love talking to you guys, but through the phone, I'm by myself other than Braden. He's on the, he's on the headset with his friends, you know, so I don't know. I'm just, I just, I'm going to put yes or no. Yes and no, I mean. What's the one rule in society I wish others didn't need to abide by? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I wish people would help more than just pulling out their phone and recording. I wish they would actually help somebody who was in need. I don't know. What was my last encounter with a soldier? Actually, it was yesterday. It was in line at the Walmart. And um, it was a police officer. But I saw he had, like, he had his, like, badge and stuff on. But he also had, like, dog tags. And I had a whole cart. Wifey left me. All he had was like a bag of chips, like a deli sandwich and something in his hand. And I told him, I said, you can go ahead in front of me. I said, I don't know where she went. She took off. She's the one with the money. He's like, oh, thank you. And then I remember like looking at him and he had like an army tattoo on his arm because he wasn't in like regular clothes, but he had a, he had an army tattoo. So and he was built like a soldier, like buzz cut and all that. Cause you know, I mean, I know a lot of police officers have like that typical haircut, but he definitely was built different. Like I said, I noticed the dog tags and the tattoo. So I'm assuming he was part of the army. Um, what makes a good son? I don't think that's fair because um, I'm not, I don't really feel like I'm going to answer that because I mean, my, I think my son is great. He's funny. He's social. He doesn't always listen, but what fucking kids actually fucking listen? I mean, he's not perfect, but nobody's fucking perfect. I love my baby boy, all his imperfections, all his flaws, everything. Cause mama's got him too. I am not fucking perfect either. So I don't feel like that's a fair question because what I think is good about my son, people will see his flaws. And what I don't see his flaws, I just see a part of him and his personality. So I don't think that's a fair question. What is a song I wish I had written? Like an existing song? I actually, well, I wrote the rap. I've rapped it for you guys before. I'm not going to do it in this video. Um, I have written, I've written bars before. But I have written songs. And there was a point in time, this is no joke, there was a guy, he had a studio that um, I worked with at the Family Dollar when I worked there. And he was trying to get his studio up and he said he had this person, um, but he's kind of been like in a, in, in a brain funk or whatever and he needed somebody to help write music and lyrics. And so one day I brought my poem book to work and he read up, he's like, you have to be, you have to be, like, you have to work with me. And so he showed me how to write songs. And when he saw, I knew how to actually write in bars and how I actually knew how to do that type of stuff. He was like, what the fuck, you know? And so then he was going to pay me for a couple of my, my poetry, for some of my poems. And, um, I was like, okay, you know, whatever, whatever. And, uh, but then he never came to work and then come to find out, I think he him and the manager. So we were supposed to work the next day, the next shift. And, uh, he never showed up for work. And then rumor had it that cause he had worked the night before and with her and they got into a huge fight and apparently he quit but we didn't ha get a chance to exchange numbers or anything so i brought my poetry book home and i was like i was hoping that when i got to work and like he was there or whatever we talked more about it because i had left my poetry book in my locker i'm like i swear to god and my locker wasn't locked it's like i hope he does not take my poetry book but it was still there i still have my poetry book so i don't know if you guys want me to read any of my poetry but 
I have, I've read some before, like Vampire Dreams, and like I, I've read some other stuff, but um, what needs to happen very soon? Us moving, it needs to happen, because I'm in move out mode, I'm ready to go. I'm ready, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. How do I sort through the things in my life that matter the most? I sort them the best way that I can and my ADHD brain allows. I don't really have an answer for that. I just, whatever is most important, take priority. So what is my favorite sound in the entire world? I have a lot of favorite sounds, but the first thing that pops into my head are drums. Like the little, the drum circles and stuff. I love drum circles. Oh, <sighs> it's either the Native American in me or the Iroquois in me, or it's <clears throat> just the spirit that just gets me going. All right. Mm. Oh my God, I haven't done the song of the day. I meant to do it the other day. And, uh, okay, let me see. Did I save the screenshot? Okay, there's that one. Okay, so day 23 would be a song you think everybody should listen to. And I think it should be that one Linkin Park song. I can't think of the name of it. And I feel like everybody should hear it because they should know the signs of somebody like asking for help without asking for help. Like, I don't know. That's the only thing I can really think of. Oh God, what is the name of that song? I don't remember it, but it's got, um, it's got a girl in it too. I can't think of it. Actually, let me just Google it. Linkin Park. Mm. Is it this one? Is it heavy? I don't know. I don't think it's that one. No. Maybe it is Kiara. Or talking to myself? I don't remember. But it's a really good Linkin Park song. I wish they would put Linkin Park and Jay-Z on which McCall. Okay, and then it says a song by a band you wish were still together. Name us. Okay. I was going to say, I don't wish they were still together, but Millie Vanilli. Remember Millie Vanilli? Um... Oh gosh, what bands, New Kids on the Block are still together. That was like my favorite band. I didn't really like NSYNC or like, I like, didn't like Black, oh Black Street. That was a good band. 112 was a good band. Are any of them together? Probably not. I don't know. Okay. And then yesterday was a song you like by an artist that is no longer living. And that would have to be anything by Prince. I mean, am I wrong? And then day 26, actually my favorite Prince song, and I've talked about this, his Emancipation album when he became the artist with his symbol. There on the second CD, because it was a three CD set, the first CD, th first three CD set I believe that was ever made because I believe Wu-Tang did the first dual cassette the forever was the first two oh no 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 it was Pac it wasn't it was a Tupac or Wu-Tang because Tupac had wasn't his all eyes on me wasn't that a two CD set and then Wu-Tang forever I don't remember who was the first I don't remember who was the first but then everybody started putting out two CD sets because then I remember Aerosmith came out with like their greatest hits but the then uh, Prince was like, mm -mm, I'm doing three. So the first song 
on the second CD of his Emancipation album. I don't remember the name of the song, but it had his baby's heartbeat in it. The ultrasound. I'm pretty sure that him and his wife lost the baby. I vaguely, I don't remember. But I remember they made that, he made that song using the the ultrasound song, the ultrasound beat in the song and he made a whole song about it. It was one of the most beautiful songs in the whole entire world. So I used to listen to that shit all the time. I just, I loved it. A song that makes you want to fall in love. Ooh. A song that makes me want to fall in love. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know. There's all kinds of songs that like that are like love songs and love. You know, my favorite song is though. Ah, uh, shit. It's just. It's something of love, and it's just the. That song, that beat, that whole when that would come on 92 Q's Love Zone. Ugh, I had that shit recorded on a cassette tape. I just felt like it was just so sensual. And I just love that song. I used to make um, segs, S-E-G-G -G, tapes and sell them when I was, <laughs> when I was in middle school, I used, okay, look, yes, we were doing the do in middle school in my, my, my generation. Okay. We were some segs active mofos okay i was in middle school with the high schoolers it's so funny because growing up i always thought i was gonna look older i looked so much older for my age when i was younger but i never really changed and i feel like i still look the same like i don't feel like i've aged that much like people always tell me they're like ray like you've barely changed and I guess that's a good thing, but I don't know. But yeah, I used to make for the, for the boys, especially around Valentine's day. Oh my God. I would make the tapes. I put the CD in, hit record, record the song, make sex tapes and give them out to the boys at, or like, especially around Valentine's day, birthdays, stuff like that. And it went carried over into high school. <laughs> And then I start adding old songs, new songs, and like really mixing it up. And But that song was always on. Because I think, I don't know if I had the single. I don't know where I had that at. I can't even remember. The, is it The Power of Love or something like that? That was my jam though. The do, 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 do. And they'd be like, ha, ah, ha, ah, ha. Ah. Oh, God. Yeah, that was my shit. I always had that on all my cassette tapes. Because I'd watch 92Q, The Love Zone. Came on at 9 o'clock. No, I think it came on at 10. Because 9 o'clock was club music. From 9 to 10 was club music. And then from 10 all night was The Love Zone. Until I think 2 o'clock. I think until 2 o'clock. Or 3 o'clock. In the morning. So, and then there was a campus that put, did their own radio station. It was like 88.9 DC FM or something like that. And they, this college would do their own like hip hop, like Saturday night jam stuff. It was cool. So, all right. I feel like I've been talking your guys' ear off. I need to put my, I need to do my medicine thing. I took my blood pressure medicine, but that's all I took today. And my thyroid, of course. I'll see y'all later. Hello, beautiful people. So I'm fixing to make dinner. And tonight for dinner, I'm getting ready to make garlic butter cod fish. Of 
course you should know what this You know what else is gonna be nice about this shelf? Look. Right at the stove. Get that jelly roll. Okay. All right, let me get the fish on here. All right, I got my fishy fishes. If you watch Shantopolis, you will know what that is in references to. I'm just gonna pat them a little dry. Just pat them, get some of that excess. Plus they were frozen, I took them out of the freezer. So I'm just patting them dry, son. All right. Now we're gonna use some butter. Yes, I know country crock isn't a real butter. Who cares? It gets the fucking job done, okay? All right, so I got some butter in there. I might add a little bit more. Okay, we got our butter. We're gonna add some olive oil. I'm recording, do you okay. care? Okay. Nope. All right, now we're gonna add a metric ton of garlic. Is actually measurement. Our dad jokes. We love telling dad jokes. Dad jokes are the best. Okay. Garlic. Alright. We're gonna add some smoke. Paprika. I measure with the heart, okay? I don't do measurements like that. Some parsley. Fresh is probably better, but I've always wanted one of those. I was just talking to Hubby about it the other day. I said I actually have always wanted one of those... Um, window like you're gonna mix one of those window like herb gardens oh salt we need salt too sorry there's a little bit of fish um one of those like window herb gardens you guys know what i'm talking about it's got like the glass shelves and it's got like all like the oh i almost found it is involuntary split and um And you put them like in your kitchen windows and then you put all the little pots and you can plant like all your thyme and mint and stuff like that. I always wanted one of those, but our cats are assholes. And not only would they probably try to climb the damn um, window, the shelves, they would probably eat the plants. So I would have to be super careful. I am not a gardener. I am not, I hate fucking gardening. I've talked about this before. It's mainly because of my mother. Okay, so I have it all mixed up and then you're just going to spread it on your cheek, your chicon, uh, chicken of the sea, okay? It's cod. Spread it on your fish. This is like really pretty. Y'all, look at that. Does that not look super freaking pretty okay hold on hold that thought all right i don't have any real lemons bring this back over here but i'm gonna take some lemon juice why is this always so flipping hard to reopen it like gets crystallized or crusty or sticky or something for something that doesn't have sugar in it and i always try to wipe it okay so I'm gonna take my little spoon and I'm just gonna put a little bit of lemon juice and just kinda like flick it. Just a little bit, not a lot. Cause hubby doesn't really like lemon like that, but just a little bit, just a wee, like drops. But make sure you get it on your fish. 
okay? Okay. One more thing. One more thing. We're gonna put a little Parmesan, just a wee little bit, actually, and I'm even gonna put it in my hands. Cause I don't, we don't need, like, don't want all that. This ain't even real Parmesan anyway. It's like Parmesan flavor crystals or something. Okay. But it tastes good, so. This is part of Foodie Beauty's food group, so. <laughs> anyway. All right. She should watch some of my vlogs and get some, like, real cooking tips. I've only been cooking for, like, the last 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years, I guess. Okay. I'm just going to add another little sprinkle of parsley. Just a wee little bit. You know, I used to hate cooking fish. And look at that. Would you look? It smells so good. All right, so in the oven, and I'm gonna bake it for like 20-ish minutes. And then I'm gonna make roasted garlic Parmesan potatoes and green beans. Let me get this stuff. I'm going to slave over the microwave and make this. These are actually really good. Could I take my eye out with the corner of the packaging? I most certainly could. Um, could I make this myself? I absolutely, positively, lutely could. Did I spend like $2 and something on this? I most certainly did. Why? Because my family are allergic to vegetables. Only I and my son like vegetables such as salads and shit like that. So, um, I buy this. So, there's that. Okay. So this is gonna go, how long does this take to make? Like five or six minutes? It takes five minutes. So once we get down to five minutes with the fish, I'll pop this in. And that'll be dinner. So, yeah. Okay, our timer is getting ready to go off. Our vegetables are done. I'm gonna cut this bag open. So the timer went off for the oven, so I actually put it on, um, it's doing the countdown right now. So I put it on broil for like two minutes just to maybe crisp up the top a little bit. Look at that. They look delicious. Okay, it's gonna go off in like 30 seconds. All right. Okay, move Callie. Okay. All right, let's pull the cod out of the oven. Oh my gosh, y'all. All right, I get so scared sometimes taking food out. This looks so good. Let me show y'all. All right, look at that. Look at that fish. Looks good. These pieces were cut smaller. There was two different packs. This was one pack of fish and this was another pack. All right, let's do a quick mouth burning taste before the locals come down. Oh gosh. Look at that flaky. Look at them. <clears throat> Look at them herbs. Okay.
That's good, Chef. All right, let me get everybody's plates and I'll see you all later. What's up, friends? So I don't know what happened to my video with me introducing this recipe, but this is the sweet potato brownie portion of this video. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. I just took my sweet potatoes out and they do feel pretty mushy. So I'm gonna cut the bag here in a minute and start scooping the innards out and I just spat all over the place. Okay, now, I got you all here. All right, so I got my mashed, my sweet potatoes mashed. I'm not obviously gonna use all this, but I'm gonna put them like in the freezer or put them in the fridge and figure out what to make with them tomorrow. So the picture shows one cup of sweet potato puree. So this is like technically not sweet potato puree, but I'm gonna smash the fuck out of this in here. Okay, one cup. So now I'm gonna scoop all of this out. Two thirds cup of maple syrup, Butterworth sugar-free. Okay. And then what, a half a cup of peanut butter? And then we need to add vanilla. Let's set that off to the side. And then we need to add vanilla. I got Hershey's cocoa. We got the good shit. All right. Half a cup. Okay. I should probably sift this. Eh. We're just gonna take it as is. All right. You know what? I think I might add. I might add a little bit. I brought this out just because I don't know if it's gonna rise or not. So I'm just gonna add. It doesn't say to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm just gonna add a little bit of baking powder. Just a little bit, not a lot. And then I might add a little bit of butter. I'm gonna melt some butter and pour it in. I just melted a little bit of butter. Pour that in there. All right. And then we just mix this up, I guess. All right, I just, I only added one egg in here. I just, I feel like it just needed another like binding agent. Cause I'm like, I mean, you got the peanut butter and all that, but I'm like, what's actually going to hold it together? Like, I just feel like it's just going to be a mess. Okay. All right, let me continue to mix this. All right, we have moved to the other side of the counter. And I'm going to generously spray this. And now we are going to dump this in here I guess I even got a whisk out and started let me show you the texture before I dump it in it's not too shabby so it's a little lumpy but that's probably from the sweet potatoes my marvelous recording there we go all right now we're gonna put it in the oven I have it at 350 I don't know how long they need to bake for but I don't know. These are definitely going to be different. And now I need to wash all these dishes because I have the dishwasher going and I have cocoa powder all over my counter. All right. I just cut them. I took them out of the oven. They're still really super hot. But I'm like so curious. I really want to try it. Okay. I am dying to try one. I'm gonna take this little, oh, it just like literally breaks apart. 
it like falls right apart. All right. It's still really hot. It's very earthy. It's not sweet. I'm used to sweet. Maybe they should cool down a little bit before I make a, a, a decision. Because right now, they, okay, they have very good potential. I'll probably never make them again, but if I was, I would definitely still add, I don't think I would have added the syrup. I would have added, um some type of sugar to it because it needs sugar and I know they're supposed to be healthy but they do make sugar-free options for sugar so um but it, it needs to be a little bit sweeter okay I just took some up to wifey and she was like they're not hateful so I'm gonna take this other little piece Is that like a piece of a, is it just, is it not cooked or, I don't know. Okay. I took the Cool Whip out. Everything's better with Cool Whip. And it is the sugar-free Cool Whip that I always get. But it just, it needs a sweetener. Like the, the um, sugar, the maple syrup, it ain't cutting it. So I'm gonna like kind of mosh this up a little bit with it. So I'm just like taking the Cool Whip and kind of moshing it all together. That's much better. It needs the Cool Whip. Mm-hmm. Cool Whip is key. It needs sugar. It should have had sugar in it. And as crumbly as this is now, I couldn't imagine it without the egg. So, there's that. All right, guys, I'm going to bed. I finished editing the vlog. It was like almost two hours long. I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize I vlogged that much today. But um, we were talking about the Bay Bridge, not the Bay Bridge, the Francis Scott Key Bridge this evening tonight at dinner. And then apparently I missed it because I didn't like watch all the press conferences and stuff. And of course, with hubby being a part of the fire department, he gets like different news and stuff from everybody else. Apparently now, supposedly, the mayor asked people to stop sharing videos, like all on Twitter and stuff, but this ain't Twitter, this is the YouTubes, <laughs> and it's in my little old vlog, um, but yeah, because apparently now, they're saying that possibly the driver of the cargo ship, because Apparently he had enough space and he was cleared the bridge, but then it's like he steered the boat into the pillar. I don't know. And then apparently I did not hear about this. I forgot to look it up. I just now thought about it. The same time at 1.30, a bridge in Ohio combusted and blew up. I was like, mm, what? And he's like, yeah, he's like, I know you like all those conspiracy theories. 
they're going to be on them talking about it's an inside job and blah, blah, blah. And there's stuff going on and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, I oh, don't know. But yeah, I wanted to charge my watch because I need to go to bed. It's already 2 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to the gym in the morning. So, um, I need to take my happy ass to bed. It's almost 2 o'clock. Um, like I said, I didn't expect the LA have to edit the vlog so much. I was like, Jesus Christ. So, I'm going to set my alarm for 7. Wifey's setting hers for 8. So... But I was kind of waiting for um, a few things to go on. I did pack. I pack Hubby's lunch. Wifey says she doesn't need a lunch. So <laughs> definitely a spring break. I'm going to pack three fucking lunches. So yeah, I got all that done. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Um, I love you guys all oh, so, 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 so very much. Um, and... Uh, I will see you all tomorrow in the next vlog. Bye.